So what we're gonna do is uh, we got a 2001 Volvo S60 2.4. Uh, we're gonna uh, replace the gasket for the VVT or the camshaft uh, reset valve. We're gonna try to clean it out and see if it um, if it fixes the issue on this car because we're having an issue with a code um, that it's giving us right now. Um, I believe it's uh, ECM uh, 640A which it's saying that uh, there's something going on and getting a faulty signal from the that solenoid that's back here. So what we're first we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, disconnect the battery and then we'll come back up here, take this cover off. There should be four bolts here and there should be some plug back here. It's pretty simple from what they say. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do that. So I'll be back here. So first we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take this cover off the battery. I've already loosened these bolts. There's two here, and there's one down in here. These are 14 millimeter. So I'm gonna just take this cover, take this plate off, and then we want to take this plastic piece. Once we get that out of the way, we want to go ahead and disconnect the battery. This is a 10 millimeter bolt. Take them both off, but I am. It wants to come out. A second. Okay. Now we'll go to the front of the motor, back up here. And then I've already loosened these hex. These are, uh, I believe, it's a thirty. Take all these off. Take this cover off. This is the main cover we want to get off. There's a clip there. That way. And this is the solenoid right here. So what we want to do is we want to unplug it. Right there. Take those four bolts off. 10 millimeter bolts. I don't know how tight they are. I think I saw that they were 20 pounds. So I'm going to break them loose first with a ratchet. That came off pretty easy. So then this is supposed to come off. Oops, there we go. Well, put some oil on there. The gasket came off good. We might not need to replace it right now, but we gotta clean this out with brake fluid. Because supposedly something is sticking on that. So let's bring this down over here. Clean that up. Try to get those passages nice and clean. rag I'm just gonna clean up anything that looks kind of dirty on there a little bit of sludge in there but I don't see no passage in there 
I don't see how that, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot. I just replaced the oil on this car, so it has clean oil on it. But it's marking that code. So I'm just cleaning the rest of this oil that I dripped out. So I don't have a mess in here. So the gasket came off in one piece. Normally you have to scrape it off. So what I'm gonna do is, I bought a new gasket. But since that one came off in one piece, I'm not gonna replace it yet. Cause if it's bad, I'm gonna have to replace the solenoid and then I'm gonna have to get another gasket. So since this came off pretty clean, I'm just gonna clean that out. Dry this real good. I don't see much smudge in there, so. I'm gonna put that right back on there. A couple guys said that they did this, cleaned it out, and it seemed to work. We disconnect the battery so that we clear the code. And after about 50 miles, the code was coming back on, so hopefully it won't come back on. Some people reported that you know, they're having emissions issues. We're getting that emissions issue too. There's a little oil that was in the hole there. Let's plug this back in. There we go. Clips right back in. Dripping some oil over here. What's that from? It's from the cap maybe. Already in here, might as well clean that up too. Okay. Yeah, I changed the oil trap out on this car, so the P PCV valve, I believe they call the ventilation system. So we should be good now. Okay, so now we'll just put that right back together. Actually, a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. Put this piece back on, it should just snap in here and here and this goes right over the top so we can get that back on let's take the cap off I think it's getting out of the way there we go and then we'll just put these bolts back on remember always hand tighten these then we'll put the battery back on and we'll see what happens. Finish by tightening up these Torx. You don't want to crank these down too much. So I'm using this drill. Okay. I'm gonna go to the back, hook up the battery back up. That'll be it. So the post back up. Positive, negative. Being stuck. Let me do the ground one first. This one's being a little bit stuck. piece back on here protect the battery it has a little spot here I think no it doesn't I thought it had a little spot there now just put this plate back on here this goes There's a guide right there. It's there.
see it. It's dark, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to see it. Okay, we're done. Takes about 10 minutes. <laughs> Start it off, we'll drive the car for about 25 miles, 50 miles. And then hopefully that cures the problem. If it does, well then we'll let you know that it did. Just we cleared the code. We got no check engine, so we're good. No check engine light right now. But it usually turns on after about 50 miles, 75 miles, so we're hoping that it won't turn on this time. I have to drive it around. Hope you enjoyed the video. Today I'm trying to um, install a new intake solenoid on this Volvo S60. I already went ahead and took everything apart. Now the wiring is going to be, there's only two wires on this, and they go into a new plug that Volvo came out with that's a nightmare uh, you have to kind of pull this little green clip as far out as you can it doesn't actually come all the way out and then you got to figure out which way this wire goes in here and I just got one of them in there and I believe that the, when you're looking at the wire if you turn this thing there's like one little spot that kind of looks like it's sticking up there's a flat spot the opposite of that there's like a little little edge on top of that that has like a I don't know if you can catch it from the camera it's hard at least when you look at it you'll see like a little raised notch on there that little raised notch if you're looking at this clip right here okay it has a release clip right here if you flip it over so again, let me see if I can get you in the light on this more. We can see a little bit better. Oh, the angle right, the angle right. There you can see a little bit. There we go. This is the raised clip. So you turn it the other way, and the notch would be going upwards, upwards, where the numbering is on this. You don't want to keep trying to shove it in there and damage it. I got one in already, slid it in and it clipped in. I kept just turning it. But if you don't take this clip off, it's not going to work. Once you got that on there, then, then you're just going to use these little connectors. And then you're going to put one to one of these and one to the other. And I got to figure out if they even matter which way they go. I don't think it does. But we'll find out. Okay, so I went ahead and I was able to get these plugs in there and I cut the wires here the old plug and the old plug was like this now it doesn't tell you which way it goes so I just kind of tried to make it seem like the solenoid this was on the right side that's on the right side I put that one to the right side which is this one right here solenoids turned a little bit differently I don't think it matters because these wires are the same color I put the little connectors on there. Uh, luckily on mine, the gasket came completely off, off of the old one. So the base was completely clean, but it was missing the filter. I'm wondering if that was causing my problems. So now I got the new one. This gasket only goes in one way, and it's got the little filter right there that mine didn't have. And basically all we do now is just put this right up on top. And then we just put the bolts down, tighten it down. That's it. Um, I know I said we needed to take this off. We didn't. Second time around, I realized you didn't need to take that cover off. You just unclip these. There's two um, Torx, I believe it's T30s, take off. And then the, that panel just slides right out and you get right to it. If that, if that gasket comes right off, this is maybe a 20-minute job if that so just tighten these down make sure you disconnect your battery I disconnected mine you don't want to turn that key on while the battery is on that battery is disconnected on a Volvo because uh, you will um, you will trigger that SRS light 
So make sure that the key is not in the ignition until you're fully done. Once, once you connect the battery and everything, you're all said and done, then you're good to go. So I'll button all this up, put this back together, kind of put these wires down on the side like that. Put the cover back on and start her up. Hopefully it works.